Leafs win 4-2 against the St. Louis Blues. So they beat them again. <clears throat> they beat them again. Now, these St. Louis Blues were a lot better. But they still can't beat the Leafs. Leafs versus Blues, game 54, game number four without Morgan Riley, who is number 44, and the Leafs win by scoring four goals. Lots of fours. Lots of fours. It was, it was a great game. It was a fun game. It was a matinee game. Um, I had to watch it on delay because we went to the States. We hit up Target. We hit up Olive Garden. My son had a blast. It's been a great family day weekend. Family day weekend? Yeah, family day, long weekend. It, it, it's been a blast. And the Leafs <laughs> put up nine against Anaheim. And then they, they score four and beat the Blues. And they won four straight. And Morgan Riley hasn't been in the lineup. And Jake McCabe was ill playing. And John Tavares is obviously injured. John Tavares was playing on the third line, sometimes on the wing. And it kind of worked. Um, anyway, quick notes. Because I'm exhausted. Uh, obviously, after this long weekend. Swimming, trampolining. Obviously, we're doing a bit of traveling. Parks, 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 parks. Ren's got swings and climbers. It's, it's been exhausting. A good exhausting. So first period, in Delta matinee game. Six, uh, six shots each. <laughs> That's basically all that happened. Oh, Austin Matthews hit the post like right at the beginning of the game. He almost got 49 there. Spoiler. He, he gets it later. <laughs> uh, but he could have had 50. Anyway, so we go to the second period and Matt Nyes goes, Hey, hey, I'm ready to play now. And uh, oh my gosh, he makes Colton Pareko look absolutely silly. In, in through his stick, out through his stick, then snipes. And the funny thing is, like, during the break, they're talking about how Toronto might target Colton Pareko because if they're going to go up there first, they want to have term. And you know what? I'm fine with that. And I'm also fine with this goal. Marner's in on the play. Matthews gets it to Nyes. And Nyes goes, boop, 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 boom, top corner. I wish I, wish I could shoot like that. Uh, so, yeah, it makes it one nothing. Um, then after that, you get the tick, tick, boom moment from Simon Benoit because you get it every game, and he absolutely just destroys Pavel Bushnevich, and I love it. Um, St. Louis do tie it up in the second period, 1-1. Leafs have a good penalty kill, and literally with like a second to go, Brandon Saad shoots. Lilligren's trying to get out of the way so Samsonov could see the puck. And freaking hits the other grin and goes in. Samson was like, what the hell? And the other grin's like, oh my God. So it's 1-1. That's okay. Toronto is on the, the power play going into the third period. And who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Who's it going to be? Sorry for the coughing. Who's it going to be? And it's Mitch Marner finding Austin Matthews. And I have to commend it's Tyler Bertuzzi here with the, like, just the timing of his stick lift. So Mitch Marner gather that puck, go behind the net, feed Austin Matthews, who like leaves the play and comes back in. He does it a lot and he got lost. He snipes over the glove and that made it 2-1. And then the Blues get a power play about seven minutes later and uh, another good penalty kill. Uh, Mitch Marner had a chance. He had to come back and get the puck. Anyway, uh, that was cool, but it was William Nylander who you know, runs into Krug, goes the other way. Holmberg skating up the ice hard. William Nylander holds, 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 lifts that right leg like he's going to feed it over. And I don't even know what the, the St. Louis Blues goalie's name is. My, my bad. But he reads this like he's going to pass it. So he slides off the post just that little bit. And then William Nylander snipes on him. Glove side. 3-1, shorthanded goal. This coming from a guy who played a total of 14 seconds, or that's what it said on the broadcast. 14 seconds total on the penalty kill last year. Freaking great. What a snipe. So I made it 3-1. And then the game plays out. I think the Leafs are playing good. They get a few chances. Blues get a few chances. Both teams are playing well. Both teams are playing well, you know. Blues get some zone time. Then Leafs get some zone time. And then uh, Blues pull the goalie early. They mentioned on the broadcast how the New York Rangers did that against... New Jersey Devils, and that obviously helped them. They won in overtime. But tonight, you see it, and it's Tyler Bertuzzi, and he's at the red line, and then he's over the red line. There's an open net, and he shoots it, and the puck's going towards the net. It's going right in the middle, over the top. Over the top of the net. <laughs> it just flew on him. Uh, he was in line. You know, the, the, the target line was there. It just went right over. And then, of course, Bushnevitz chips one in after that, and you're like, oh, no, Tyler. And it's 3-2. But then, um, you know, Matthews gets a clearing chance going for that number 50. He hits, I think it was Bushnevich, his own end. But Mitch Marner gets the puck. And he just flicks it really high in the air. And Cruz skating back. 
It's like, I got time, and Bobby McMahon is out on there because Bobby McMahon gets to play with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner because Sheldon Keith trusts him, and he goes, Tori, I'm, I'm just going to take this puck from you. I'm going to wrap around you, but I'm not going to hold. I'm just going to wrap, and then I'm kind of just going to twist for with the puck. And then he did, and, and then he scored in the open net. And Bobby McMahon looks at Austin and goes, whatever you can do, I can do too. He can't do better, but he can do two. Or he can do almost as good. He's doing well. He, like, what's that, like seven goals now or something like that in his last, what, couple games? <laughs> like, So he scores, he beats up on Krug. Krug's pissed, and I would be too if it was the other way around. But hey, it's not the other way around, and I'm a Leafs fan, and the Leafs win 4-2, and it's great. The team played well. They, they had a... a Another French Marley come up and play great for them, played like 12 minutes. Um, you had Benoit dominating, McKay playing well sick. Samsonov, yeah, he lost the puck a couple times. Uh, he got a stick blown up out of his hands at the end of the, near the end of the game and he just went after a guy and then McCabe's like, here, Sammy, do you want your stick? And he goes, I guess so. And then he has to make a couple saves and the Leafs like Matthews, Marner and Nyes were stuck out there for like two and a half minutes at the end there and they still somehow killed it and it was just awesome it was just awesome what a way to to finish this monday it's monday now i don't even know what time it is probably like nine o'clock i can't believe i avoided spoilers this entire time that's what happens when you stay off your phone so yeah whoa what a game what a game leafs win again they are now 30 16 and 8 yes this is win number 30 four straight wins for the boys Four straight wins without Morgan Riley. Screw you, Ottawa. Arizona's next on Wednesday. See everyone after that game. Take care, everyone. Austin Matthews, let's get 50 against your hometown team. Go Leafs, go.